Today, speaking for The Price is Right, a Fremantle Media production. Friday. You each get a coffin. It's Halloween. Let's make a deal as tricks. It's a spider car. And lots of treats. The trip to Scotland. This show <laughs> will be one to die for. <laughs> Let's make a deal Halloween special. Friday, only CBS Daytime. A jury will judge Congressman Michael Grimm on 20 counts of fraud, obstruction, and lying under oath. But how should we judge Congressman Grimm on Election Day? Michael Grimm opposes raising the minimum wage, hurting working families. He voted to defund Planned Parenthood, damaging women's health. Grimm even voted to shut down the government, costing our economy billions. I've come to my verdict. No to Congressman Grimm. House Majority PAC is responsible for the content of this advertising. Enter the distorted world of Justin Wagner, candidate for state senate. A bizarre universe where Democrats led by Bill de Blasio would control state government. The last time that happened, it led to $9 billion in new taxes and $12 billion in new spending. Where Justin Wagner's support for New York City-style campaign finance means hundreds of millions of our tax dollars paying for political ads. Justin Wagner's distorted world, a place we just can't go. From Studio 46, this is CBS 2 News at Noon. Good afternoon. I'm Chris Raggy. And I'm Mary Calvi. Nassau County homeowners on high alert after a big spike in burglaries. Investigators say thieves have hit expensive homes and now police have stepped up patrols in the area. CBS 2's Jennifer McLogan live in Williston Park with more on the investigation this, this noon. Jennifer. Good afternoon here at the 3rd Precinct. Lead detectives are getting word out to nearby targeted communities that there's been a 30% jump in burglaries in these high-end neighborhoods. Broke through the windows, came in, took a lot of stuff. Jewelry, cash. Jewelry, uh, brand new Italian loafers. I had someone ring my doorbell the other night, a man in, with a clipboard. My dog started barking. I put on my alarm and he ran away. Suspects are able to make a quick getaway on the Long Island Expressway and Northern State Parkway, say police, from Manhasset Hills to Roslyn Heights. As many as 27 reported break-ins since Columbus Day, and they seem to fit the same pattern. Forced entries at the rear of homes, using tools to jam open sliding doors or basement windows, mostly on weekend nights or early evening. A community meeting was held at the Shelter Rock Library. We do believe that they're professional burglars and they're well organized um, and we'll keep these resources in the area as long as it takes for us to uh, solve this problem. Big concerns are no matter I think what you do, if they're out to get you, they're going to get you, boy. Use your alarm system at all times. In fact, uh, inspectors say homeowners with alarms that go off are usually spared. Patrols are being ramped up. No one has been injured in these heists. We're reporting live this noon from the 3rd Precinct. Jennifer McLogan, CBS 2 News. All right, Jennifer, thank you. Catholic parishes across our area waiting to hear whether they'll be staying open. The New York Archdiocese expects to shut down or consolidate 14% of its parishes. CBS 2's Janelle Burrell checked with a church that could be in jeopardy of closing. These doors of St. Joseph's Catholic Church have welcomes parishioners in New Rochelle for generations. It's been a staple here for, I don't know, over 50 years at least. But many here worry a possible announcement from the New York Archdiocese could shutter its doors for good. There's just too many parishes here and to keep everybody, everything going, I think it's a necessary evil, unfortunately. St. Joseph's is one of 368 parishes in the Archdiocese that's comprised of Catholic churches and schools across most of New York City, Westchester, and the Hudson Valley. 52 of those parishes will soon close or consolidate to save money. If you have 500 people supporting a parish, you can better support it than if you have 250 people supporting the parish. So all of those factors were weighed, but always with the primary goal, how do we create 
strong, energetic, more vibrant parishes than we have now. Manhattan and the Bronx expected to be among the areas hardest hit by the cuts. I'm sad to hear that. Among them, parishioners like Alba Suarez at Holy Innocence on West 37th Street, where they got word months ago they'll likely be closing. In his column in Catholic New York, Cardinal Timothy Dolan said the impending closures feel like something has died. It is going to be, we know, painful. The faithful keep hoping. There's so many uh, reasons to keep them open, you know, but um, again, we'll just have to keep praying. While church leaders say the cuts will be hard, they're hoping that ultimately a more streamlined archdiocese will lead to a stronger church. They're expected to announce the parishes affected within a week. In New Rochelle, Janelle Burrell, CBS 2 News. 2.8 million Catholics worship in churches in the New York Archdiocese, 25% of those in Manhattan. Breaking news at the Palisades Mall, a man falls to his death from the third floor in front of a crowd of people. CBS News' Lou Young is live in West Nyack with the story. Lou. Yeah, this is the sprawling Palisades Mall, uh, um, uh, Barry, and it happened at the w extreme west end, that cavernous interior that we're all familiar with. Apparently somebody uh, went over either a railing or the uh, edge of a, an escalator and fell from the fourth floor level down to the ground level. It's a three-story fall, and he is dead. We spoke with uh, Clarkstown police officer Pete Walker uh, shortly after arriving on the scene just a few moments ago. Listen. Now about 10.20 this morning, we received the call of an incident in which a man uh, had uh, fallen from the third floor down to the first floor in Palisades Mall. He is deceased and it's an ongoing investigation. We're trying to determine exactly what happened and how it happened. Looking live at the Palisades Mall. Now, if you were shopping here, you would uh, notice nothing unusual unless you were already all, 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 all the way over on the west end uh, by the Best Buy there. That's where the um, area is taped off, where the uh, accident or crime scene uh, is under investigation. Clarkstown police looking into it now. Uh, there's some indication the man might have been here with a group. They are talking to the people he was here with. Uh, accident, uh, a, false, uh, uh, a false move, or perhaps uh, something intentional. We don't know yet. We're live in West Nyack, Lou Young, CBS 2 News.